again uh today we are going to look at uh, uh how to start with trading and where can you start from uh when you scroll this is for uh, mobile users uh meta trade for usually we use meta trade for because it's more friendly and uh to be honest that's where i started from uh, that's how i started my journey i started with metatrade 4 and of course you can see it needs updates but of course it's if it's your first time you won't update it it will just ask for download so my internet is quite speedy it's quite fast excellent that's perfect it's so perfect so we, we are going to look at the futures of metatrade 4 and metatrade 5 and the features are not so different but for starters you can enjoy it this is how it looks like So this is my meta trade for and that's how it looks like so if you're just new uh, it is going to take a while no. so this is how it will look like your meta trade for let's accept a uh, demo of course you will start with the demo for now so right now it will ask for a login and so far we don't have and you can't use it you can't use anything in meta trader 4 so when we look at meta trader 5 For a start, accept opening an account on MetaCot demo. To take a while. My internet is quite slow now. Probably off. It's back online. So on the side of MetaTrader 5, you will get an account, a demo that you can start with. Probably it will be given to us. This account um, it is free you can start with it that's the difference between the two of them uh, the first a uh, meta trader for you have to, to first get um, to open up an account with any broker and here you can start without any broker it's just is easy, as easy as that so you can start trade right away as you can see here we have some cash to start with so the demo account will be given to you uh, as as immediate with immediate effect so let's look at the 
other settings of course when when we get over here you'll be excited at least you have somewhere to start from and let's go to the courts so the courts so that's how they are but you can add calling spares your calling spares are added from here from there so what do you do you place it after placing it you place uh, we have forex we have metals we have indices we have commodities we have uh, commodities slash energy features so you can select whatever you want but in my opinion These are the major ones. So let's select Folex. So when you select Folex, that's what you see. So one of the pairs I like most, we have Australian dollar versus Canadian dollar. Uh, that's one. We have Australian dollar versus yen. Uh, Australian dollar versus with France so euro card euro AUD those are all my favorite pairs NZJPY So we are done with that. So if you want to delete delete, delete you place here. So of course let us delete them and we add them and see how it works. You place it place them and place all the pairs so you place here to place all of them and afterwards you delete so now we have euro the USD left so we have a clean sheet so let's add our favorite pairs so what do you do you come here place it you search for AUD USD that's one we have New Zealand dollar versus USD mm -hmm. we have JPY Vas USD. Mm -hmm. Now we have AUD. JPY. Mm -hmm. These are all calling spares that are so are so good. So we have the major one, gold. Good to go. 
you can't leave gold behind that's one of my best pairs ever um so far let's see what's happening now so we've got gold australian jpy nz so one two three four five six those are enough pairs to start with so let's look at our chart our chart is quite organized as we can see but in case if our chart is not organized we go back to the settings then we place settings so here we can scroll go back settings So now what are we going to look at? We're going to look at how we can apply settings or some strategies to our chart you place there. So you can see it's quite naked. You place here. So we've got a lot of things. We have got trends, oscillator, volumes, Bill Williams, Bill Williams. So those are the the only ones and we have a lot of variety to choose from so that we can smooth or simplify our trades so for a starters, technical analysis is not as easy, but you place in the middle of the screen twice here, and then the circle will pop up. After popping up, you place where you see the symbol of a circle, a rectangle, and a triangle. So you are good to go. So here you can choose all the time frame you want from daily. And usually, when you want to simplify things, you start with the bigger time frame. It will give you 
at the election of a trade. So now what we see here is a pair. So when you place it, you can see Euro USD, Australian dollar, and the rest. So you have, if you want multiple screens, you place here. Which I don't recommend because it will look so funny. That's how it is. If you want them off, again place there. And remove. As simple as that. So here is where we make our orders. In this corner. So your stop loss, you take profit. As simple as that. So in the MetaTrader 5, things are more simplified. And in a MetaTrader 4, uh, it's more of hard time. But still, let's go there and see how we can figure it out. So here... You have to first create your account and if you don't have demo account nothing will work totally nothing so it will require us to create an account demo in metacodes demo so in meta meta trader 4 it's more hard time but it's very easy once you open up an account so i'll drop a video how to connect your MetaTrader phone <coughs> with, with your broker. So it's a buy for now. I have a broker that I trust in my description. So wait for part two of this video.